welcome to our virtual classroom. Today I'm going to present to you a problem about ratio and proportion and I'm trying to present three ways in solving a problem coming up with only one answer hoping that this video will be a great great help for our students out there during this pandemic time and for those who are new to this channel i would like to invite everyone to please subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated for my new videos are you ready so let's begin welcome to our lesson mathematics solves problems involving direct proportion partitive proportion and inverse proportion in different contexts such as distance rate and time using appropriate strategies and tools so this is specifically a competency for grade six pupils a milk based competency and yours truly elizabeth p Hinovia, the author creator of this modified non-print materials so let's begin we have here a problem jasmine and lenny share some money in the ratio of three is to two jasmine gets 12 jasmine gets 12. how much does lenny gets so we were we are going to find the share of lenny uh, in this first solution let's make use of black model so i have here five blocks with color pink and color green as you can see we have three blocks for pink and two blocks for green so why do have why do we have to create five blocks because this five blocks contains two different colors represents the ratio three is to two the pink one represents the three and the green here represents the two so that is why we have three pink blocks and two green blocks so since the given here jasmine gets 12 so let's make use of 12 now we will we are going to divide 12 by three pink blocks so you have three divide 12 divided by three blocks equals four therefore the value of each blocks is four so you have here four and the same through with the green blocks so each block has a value of four okay now as i've said the pink represents the three the ratio three and the green represents the two okay so three is two two now question how much does lenny gets so as you can see here jasmine got 12 because she has four pink uh, three pink blocks which has a value of four each so four eight twelve four times three equals twelve okay where do we get four so we simply divide twelve by three blocks which is given in the problem and regarding with the share of lenny so as you can see you have here the green one represents lenny because lenny got n we do not know how many is the share of lenny so looking at this green blocks here you can simply say and conclude that by looking at this number in each green blocks you have here four and another one four so simply you can say lenny's share is eight so lenny got eight and that is her share 
So the answer now to the question, how much does Lenny get? Lenny get eight as her share. Okay, so this is about black model in finding the solution for this particular ratio. Let's proceed to the other one. Using the same problem, Jasmine and Lenny share some money in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Jasmine gets 12. How much does Lenny get? So, second solution, let's make use of cross multiply. Okay, cross multiply is common to us because we, will, we have been using that also in fraction. So, we have here Jasmine, 3 and 12. Okay, so based from the problem, 3 represents Jasmine's share and Lenny, 2. Then Jasmine has 12 share. So we have here for Jasmine, 3 and 12. For Lenny, 2 and N because we do not know yet the share of Lenny. Okay, so but the ratio of their share... Jasmine is 3, Lenny is 2. Okay, let's try to find out what is the value of N using cross multiplication. So, how are we going to make use of cross multiplication? You have there, multiply 3 by N. Okay, 3 times N. And then you multiply 2 and 12. So, cross multiplication. Then, let's proceed to solution. Let N be... Lenny's share. So, ito yun. And, the solution is, so, you simply uh, rewrite the given um, number and n. So, 3 times n equals 2 times 12. Okay? So, you have here 3n 3 times n equals 3n. Then 2 times 12 equals 24. So 3 times n equals 3n. 2 times 12 equals 24. Then let's divide each column by 3. Okay, so 3n over 3 equals 24 over 3. Then cancel 3 so that what remains is n. So you have here n equals 24 divided by 3. So, n now equals 8. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So, what is the, or how much is the share of Lenny? So, Lenny's share is 8. Okay? So, as simple as that. Now, this is all about cross multiplication. It's easy to use in finding the proportion. Next solution, using the same problem, Jasmine and Lenny share some money in the ratio of 3 is to 2. Jasmine gets 12. How much does Lenny get? So in this third solution, let's make use of setting up proportion. Okay, how to set up proportion? So let's make use of the basic um, principle and formula for proportion. So, let's um, write all the given from the problem. Gini share is 3 and 12. Lenny's share is 2 and then N. Why N? Because we do not know yet how much is the share of Lenny. So, uh, remembering the proportion, we have 2 parts for proportion. As you can see, the two inner number in a proportion is called means. And the two outer number in a proportion is called extremes. So, let's not forget that we have the means and extremes in order for us to know the value of the missing or to find the value of the missing number. Then, how are we going to solve? Multiply first both means and then divide it with a given number on the extremes. So, let's do this. 
like this. So let n be Lenny's share. Okay. So solution we have here n equals according to here multiply first both means. So both means is 2 and 12. So that is why we have here n equals 2 times 12. Alright. Then divide it with the given number on the extremes. The only given number in the extremes is 3 because n is still to be discovered. So we are going to find the value of n. So the only number here for extremes is 3. So that is why we have here n equals 2 times 12 divided by 3. Okay. So now let's find the answer for 12, 2 times 12. n equals 24. So bring that number 3 here. So n equals 24 divided by 3. 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So the value of n is 8. Now, answering to this question, how much does Lenny gets? Lenny gets, so therefore Lenny's share is 8. Okay? So as easy as that. Now let's have here the summary. As you can see, the, we tried to make use of block model and we found out that the answer to the question is 8. Now the share of Lenny is 8. And for the second solution, we use cross multiplication or cross multiply using the same problem but presenting different way of solving the problem presenting the different way of showing the solution is cross multiplying okay and then we found out that still we come out with the same answer that Lenny has a share of 8 for the third solution you have here we make use of setting a proportion we make use of the formula for proportion and still we found out and we come up with the same answer Lenny Lenny share is still 8 so from block model to cross multiply to setting a proportion all the answers are the same but we try to present three ways in finding the solution so if you guys um, have a hard time in uh, giving your solution I hope this video will be able to give and help you in finding the solution for the problem in ratio and proportion using the same methods uh, you can use either block model cross multiplication setting a proportion in order for you to come up with the same answer so there is no absolute formula that we can say it's the only one accepted formula no you can explore so i am trying to show to you the three ways in finding the value of n answering to the question how much does lenny gets in the proportion or in the ratio three is to two which jasmine gets 12 as her share so finding the share of lenny these three methods these three techniques shows the same answer that Lenny has a share of 8. So I hope this video is a big help for you. And thank you for watching. So math, I could say using these three methods, we will be able to get the same answer. And I could say math is not a hard subject. Math is not a difficult subject, but math is fun. Thank you so much. Till next time. Don't forget to leave your comment below guys para malaman ko naman kung ano yung mga insights 
at ano yung mga feedback ninyo sa mga ginagawa kong video. I would greatly appreciate all your comments. You can write your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe.